George Post has to be the most interesting character I've ever met. What I enjoy about George is his, uh, his sense of humor. There is no subject and no topic that I bring to him or want to discuss that he doesn't have significant depth and background in. George is one of these guys uh, who is, um, I'll use this word, I don't use it almost ever, unique. Yeah, with my first degree being in veterinary medicine really reflected the fact that I grew up in a rural area and the veterinarian played a very important role in animal health. Therefore, it was a very logical extension. And uh, well, it's been a very varied career. And uh, as my gray hair reflects, it's been a number of decades. So it has really been a, a, a trinity of academia, industry, and a lot of work with the government, particularly in the area of biodefense and bioterrorism. George inspires people. And through that, he has made Arizona a great place, a great place for futuristic work, specifically in health and biomedicine, and now in complex adaptive systems. He's really setting the trajectory at a global level. He has such a reputation for what he did in industry and the, the number of lives that you can point to that his, his uh, diagnostics and vaccines have saved. In particular, I, I keep pointing to this hepatitis B vaccine thing. That was amazing. That was the first recombinant DNA vaccine that anyone had ever done. Everybody talked about it, everybody wanted to do it, but he did it. With biodesign, he sort of has become um, sort of the consummate transdisciplinary thinker and scientist. What we have achieved in Biodesign Institute is in large measure because of the leadership of George Post. He can take people and ask them what they're thinking of and, and figure out what the, the kernel of what they're saying that's good and integrate it with somebody else's, and he's a past master at that. Well, I think it, uh, in everything, it comes down to people. We were extremely fortunate, not only some of the faculty who already been here at AASU, like Stuart Lindsay and Neil Woodbury, uh, who joined, but we were actually able to recruit a large number of stellar people from the outside who delightfully are still with us and have shown exactly what we need in terms of being disruptors. I think all aspects of healthcare have to be innovative. We're at a very difficult and challenging time, and therefore we've got to constantly look as to what others are doing, what can we learn from them, and equally importantly, how we can collaborate with them. And congratulations to George for uh, this award, for all that you've done to help uh, Arizona State University to become a great uh, global research university, all that you've done to help the world to be a healthier, safer place for generations moving forward. He truly deserves this, and I congratulate George on this fantastic achievement. One more feather in his cap. Leadership. Breadth of knowledge. Curious. Insightfulness. Visionary. Visionary.